But actually what happens is that it just keeps on going. It tunnels to the bottom and makes the ice like Swiss cheese, sort of like termites. This shows what happens to the crevasses. And when lakes form, they create what are called moulins. The water goes down to the bottom and it lubricates where the ice meets the bedrock. See these people here for scale? This is not on the edge of Greenland. This is in the middle of the ice mass. This is a massive rushing torrent of fresh meltwater tunneling straight down through the Greenland ice to the bedrock below. Now, to some extent, there has always been seasonal melting and moulins have formed in the past, but not like now. In 1992, they measured this amount of melting in Greenland. Ten years later, this is what happened. And here's the melting from 2005. Tony Blair, scientific advisor, has said that because of what's happening in Greenland right now, the maps of the world will have to be redrawn. If Greenland broke up and melted, or if half of Greenland and half of West Antarctica broke up and melted, this is what would happen to the sea level in Florida. This is what would happen to San Francisco Bay. A lot of people live in these areas. The Netherlands, one of the low countries, absolutely devastating. The area around Beijing that's home to tens of millions of people. Even worse, in the area around Shanghai, there are 40 million people. Worse still, Calcutta and to the east, Bangladesh, the area covered includes 60 million people. Think of the impact of a couple of hundred thousand refugees when they're displaced by an environmental event. And then imagine the impact of a hundred million or more. Here's Manhattan. This is the World Trade Center memorial site. And after the horrible events of 9-11, we said never again. But this is what would happen to Manhattan. They can measure this precisely, just as the scientists could predict precisely how much water would breach the levees in New Orleans. The area where the World Trade Center Memorial is to be located would be underwater. Is it possible that we should prepare against other threats besides terrorists? Maybe we should be